presentation of the 2023 government fiscal policy document, a lot of talk has gone round regarding the debt level of the country and how it has to be restructured. The finance minister has been speaking, putting out how it intends to do the debt restructuring, for which many have also suggested that there will be a haircut. The minority has been responding in equal measure, indicating that with the current restructuring the government is seeking, well, this is how long it will take for the country to come back on track. Today, Ghana has officially announced default of its external debt. That is what it means. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this will mean that by close of this week, rating agencies will downgrade Ghana further to D. It is going to erode your hair completely. A black hole will be better off. So, so, so let no one lie to you. Let no one lie to you. Ghana is in for a big haul. Ten years to recover is an understatement. The mess that this government has created will need 15 years minimum to recover. A press conference organized by the minority in parliament on Monday, they fiercely said many of the things the government intends to do, especially those that do not intend to be sacrifices made by the government, they as a minority will fiercely reject it. We are still looking at the policy principles within the budget, but at least we've stated unequivocally that we do not support e-levy. When we, we did, they rejected it and walked out on us. We have also stated categorical that we do not support a 2.5% increase in VAT. For us and for them, it's immoral to do so. And for us, we think they can recoup it through discipline and expenditure cuts in other areas of the budget. On debt restructuring, we think they ought to have anticipated this day and asked for consultation much more earlier. We are not able to help them at this stage in time. The minority has again been describing as legendary failure the conduct of the finance minister, the economic management team, and the government as a whole, calling on the economic management team to take a bow. The minority says it intends to challenge every single component of the budget, i.e. the policy statement, the estimates, and the appropriation, so the people of Ghana will get a good deal. Today, they have provided 80 million in the budget. Thanks to essential motion, they would have taken this from contingency without uh, voting for it. This is a project which may eventually cost the state and the taxpayer 400 million US dollars. Are we not right to ask, how was procurement done? How is value for money ensured? What is best practice in determining it? So we are not against the principle and concept of a cathedral for the church. We know the state and the church. There's a bond. And to keep the religious harmony and coexistence of our country, we are only demanding answers to those matters. Komla Kluche, TV3 News.